I've watched The Lighthouse twice, and my main takeaway is that two times is enough. The first time was around its release date, and I watched it while speaking the stereotypical Miami Spanglish and donning a spike slushie with my best friend. The second, regrettably, was with my family, and I have yet to hear the end of it. Both viewings were a year apart, because that's about as much time as it takes to stomach a film like this. It's dark, haunting, and outright unsettling. And as much as it makes me want to turn away, I can't. The location and language act like a lighthouse and guide me into a world that is enveloped in darkness. It is a slow burn that gradually removes my sense of consciousness. I may not physically be at the lighthouse, but I emphatically understand what it's like to lose myself over something beautiful. That is the purpose of the lighthouse. Two men searching for something beautiful, only to realize that it's not. They become addicted to a false sense of hope. The film is black and white because there is no color in a lighthouse, only the extremes of light and dark, both of which are made up of the same qualities, meaning one can easily be the other. This reminds me of one of the better jokes in the 90s sitcom Will and Grace, where Jack says that he's become so gay that he's straight. In the lighthouse, the light is so good that it becomes evil. Once you see the light, everything goes dark. The atmosphere of the lighthouse deeply affects the characters because it revolves around where it takes place. After all, it is called the lighthouse. The location is as much a character as the actors. It has a purpose and at times feels more human than the actual humans. It is the embodiment of hope, despite destroying everything it touches. It is the antagonist that breathes, loves, and attacks all semblance of rationality, of who were once two ordinary men. Both men obsess over the mythical qualities of the lighthouse. We learn that the foe's character, Wake, fell in love with the lighthouse in place of his wife. Now, he climbs to the top and stares into the light to orgasm. He is addicted and killed his old partner for it. On the other hand, Pattinson's character, Winslow, masturbates to a wooden figurine and hallucinates a mermaid. He yearns for the light because Wake hides it from him. Together, they delude themselves into thinking the light is beneficial to them. Went mad, he did. Their language serves to give insight into who they are. Wake, as the older and more experienced keeper, often guides the younger Winslow around the lighthouse. His tone of voice reflects the environment, relaxed when the storm is calm and thunderous when the winds are tumultuous. Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! Hark! Winslow, a more reserved traveler, has his doubts when it comes to authority. He doesn't understand that he is being protected from the light. Even after Wake's harrowing warning to never kill a seagull, Bad luck to kill a seabird! Winslow doubts him and does exactly that. This is the first sign that the lighthouse is influencing its visitors. Followed by a terrible storm and way too much alcohol, these men find themselves loving and hating each other solely based on what's at the top of the lighthouse. They drink, fart. Goddamn farts! Good God. dance and cry, all while losing their sanity. What? 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 As the lighthouse continues to torment the lowly keepers and the viewing audience, they turn on each other. They both speak in an old English sea shanty dialect but towards the end, it becomes a dirtier rendition of language. Drunken, horse-shitting, short, shit liar. Every way with words, Tommy. Oh, damn you. Winslow takes over the conversations, becomes tired of listening and decides to act. So Wake's godly speeches are replaced by Winslow's manic outbursts. By then, both men have officially gone off the deep end. The vicious cycle of the lighthouse has ingrained pain into their hearts. Winslow becomes awake and kills his partner and himself in the process. He reaches the light and becomes obsessed, all to repeat what was done to him. A lighthouse is a guide. It is not a goal. Light serves to help people see what's in front of them, not to be what they are looking for. Even if at the core of my occidental experience, I'm only after cheap thrills, whatever goals I set will have implications on who I become. After all, if I stare at the sun too long, I'll go blind. 